Hi Finn, welcome to your Camtasia tutorial on how to access the mosaic function on a Mac. So what we do is we scroll down to our dock and we open up Systems Preferences. For your listening enjoyment, note that I have Black Sabbath on in the background just to have a bit of nice easy listening. So then we go up to the Personal tab and to Desktop Screen Savers. Okay, so there's two options here as you can see. You can adjust your desktop or your screensaver. In this case, we want to access the screensaver. Now, what we do here is I usually use the Phantom Butterflies, as you can see, which is a great little one I downloaded from um, Make Use of, put me onto that. But what we're after today is the mosaic effect. So we scroll up, and under the screensavers list here, we've got all the different photo albums that I've got together. These, all these little ones are just ones from my um, iPhone library. But let's just say we just want to use some Cosmos. Okay, so we apply Cosmos. Then we go over here to Display Style and we go Slideshow, Collage or Mosaic. We click on Mosaic and let's test that, shall we? Wow. As you can see here, it's taking photos from the entirety of my iPhone, um, of my iPicture library and using it to create the images. It perhaps would be better if you could just select which ones appear and don't appear. But at the moment, I don't think there's any other option. So here we go. Uh, there should be an image. Oh, it will become clear in a second. So there we go. I'm not sure if that's illustrated it to its very best of its potential. But it's not too bad. Why don't we stop that for a second and just select a different let's select a different image. Let's just try doing that. Remember display style cosmos. Let's test this one. I have a feeling we're going to have a lot more luck with this image in terms of illustrating what it is that it does. So there we have it. Mosaic. And the palm tree. And it becomes clear. Beautiful. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching this uh, mosaic uh, tutorial as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. Bye, Finn.